Hello family. Today is going to be a subscriber request recipe. Um, one of my subscribers from Scotland um, wanted me to make scotch pies. So we're going to attempt to do this. Okay, well, I'm going to start with two and a half cups of flour. And um, I will be putting the recipe, oops, sorry about that, in the description. And I had to, it was in grams, so I had to calculate that. This is one teaspoon of salt. Okay. Now we're going to warm this up. But not to boiling and I've got eight and a half tablespoons of lard and seven and a half tablespoons of butter this is called a hot water crust I'm just gonna let this get just a little bit warm and it's already it's already warm getting warm so I'm gonna put the put it in it because we just want it until it melts. We just want to melt it. That's it. Doesn't take too long. I hope everybody had a really nice Christmas. I know I did. I loved having my kids here. nice. She really liked all her toys. She really wanted to make snow angels, but it didn't snow while she was here. It actually snowed like a couple days after she left. And we only got an inch of snow, so. But someday, someday she'll be able to make snow angels somewhere. Maybe here in a couple years. See now this is melting really good. Just a couple more seconds. I'm going to turn it off because I don't want it to boil. It will melt. Now I'm going to move you back over here. Now we're just going to kind of make a little well in there and we're going to pour this in here. And it's kind of warm so Gotta be careful. Just kind of mix it up. It's going to need a little more flour. Just a little more flour. I should have used grams, but I did not. Because that's more precise. Now I'm going to put some flour on here. Just knead it a little bit. Get that and pour 
hopefully it'd a little better. That looks good. Okay, now I'm going to put this in the fridge for a couple hours, and then we'll be back. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to cook up some onions. I'm just going to put a couple tablespoons in here of olive oil. Get this started. And I'm gonna do about, well, I'm gonna do one whole onion. So, just take a couple minutes for this to heat up a little bit. I've got some beef broth out, so I'll be using that. And I will put the, the recipe in the description. Is everybody's new year doing well? I suppose you want to see my new t-shirt. Here's my new t-shirt. I mean, I have to lift this up. Okay. This is my newest one, of course, Elvis. I mean, yes. I love Elvis movies. I started seeing Elvis movies when I was at the theater when they came out when I was a little girl. I, I'm old. I remember going to Saturday matinee and seeing all the Elvis movies, as many as I could. It was really, really cheap, and my um, my grandma was always trying to help me get the money to go see it. And my mom gave me money when I could, when she could, but I always got to go, so. I'm just getting my hamburger uncrumbled here, or crumbled up a little bit better. Yeah, so you know, I don't, New Year's resolutions, I don't do New Year's resolutions. Um, I really don't, never have. I'm not real good at uh, keeping resolutions, especially if it's about losing weight and stuff. I've just, I've been doing pretty good at that right now, so have been for, I don't know, just been eating a lot less, a lot of salads. I, I really love my um, fruit smoothies, so... The one thing I did discover, and I don't know if it's all everybody, but I've been taking um, powdered, okay, hold on, I've been using powdered collagen in my coffee in the morning, and ever since I started doing that, like I don't have an appetite. I can I can't eat very much, and um, I don't know if that's good or not. I probably should ask my doctor, but yeah, I just so I don't know. 
We'll have to see. But yeah, I'm just, I'm not hungry at all. Okay, we'll get these onions going here. I'm going to try my best at these. I've never in my life even heard of these scotch pies, so, um, but I've been, um, I've been um, looking at the recipe for a while, and I watched some YouTube videos. Alright, I'm going to add this hamburger and get this going here. And I've got about a pound and a half. Maybe close to two pounds. I don't. I really don't know. Um, traditionally, it's lamb, and it says eighteen ounces of of lamb, minced lamb, brown lamb. But um, I don't know. My husband would never eat lamb, so I'm sticking to what my husband will eat. I'm using ground beef. But he doesn't like eating um, venison either because he said, I'm not going to eat Bambi. But I've made it when we would, didn't have any food. We ate it. There was a time where we was we didn't have food and um, I was living on social security disability and I was only getting four hundred dollars a month and. He was um, working part time, so it was kind of rough then. But then um, one of them, or one of our relatives, brought us over a deer, so we cut that up and we ate it. He didn't like it, but he was hungry. And the way I make venison, he always thought it just tasted like beef, so. He didn't have a problem with it, but now that we can buy hamburgers, no way. He would never eat venison again. He says it's like eating Bambi. <laughs> but I would, um, I would marinate the venison overnight in soy sauce and W sauce and garlic. And, um, and that's the way I would cook it. It's, uh, it was pretty good. I'm not too fond of wild meat either because my, that's all my father would bring home when I was a really little girl. I didn't like bear. I didn't want to eat bear meat. I didn't like it. Or duck. Well, it could have been the way my mother cooked it, though, too. So. I ate a lot of fish. I really liked sunfish. My dad used to get a lot of sunfish. And um, I liked um, northern, but a lot of bones. He used to... He used to get... Um, Oh, we used to have crappies too, and northerns, and sunfish, and they're called red horse, they're like carp. He used to, he took an old refrigerator and made a smokehouse out of it, he would smoke them in there. And that was, that was when I was really little. What you up to, baby girl, huh? Want to say hi to everybody? What are you hoofing about? What are you snooting about? You're hoofing. How come? What's wrong? What'd you get, a kitty or something? Did you chase a kitty? Chase a kitty out of the yard, did you? 
Were they after your birdies? You don't allow that, do you? You don't allow kitties in the in the yard. They're not ours. She does not like kitties. I used to have cats, and I, I liked them, but she won't allow them. We actually did bring a kitten home once, and um, we thought we were going to lose her, lose it right away. Cause, uh, she went after it, so we had to take it back right away. I think the cat, the kitten was here for maybe half an hour. But no way, she wasn't going to take it. So, she's the only one that belongs here, I guess. I had a cat once that loved to, um, no matter what you were drinking, if it was coffee or pop or, uh, or soda or, um, you know, water didn't matter what it was. Juice, she would knock it down. That was her thing. To just get up wherever you had your drink and knock it over. I was so afraid she was going to burn herself. We had to make sure that we didn't put our coffee cup down when it was hot. But she, we tried to stop her, but she, that was something she always did. So, we uh, held on to our drinks a lot. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, um, let's see how much here. I'm just going to pour some beef broth in here. Because I'm going to straighten this out and use this for gravy. I'm going to put a lid on this and let this simmer for like 10 minutes. And then we'll be back. Alright, I'm a space cadet today. I forgot to add the seasonings. We're going to add some pepper. And it calls for mace, but I could not find mace anywhere. And I really don't think my husband would eat it. So, I got some... It also calls for some um, Italian seasonings or marjoram or whatever you got. I got Italian seasonings and I know that's what my husband will eat. So it says about a teaspoon. So I'm going to go with, yeah, about a teaspoon. I still have my little things. If I dash this that one of my friends sent me, I love it. A dash of this and a smidgen of that. Alright, I'm going to add that to it. Now, I'm going to let it simmer. These are my, um, this is a dash. This is a pinch. A smidgen and a nip. Aren't those cute? My friend Karen said that to me. All right, we'll be back. Okay, I let it cook for about 10 minutes. Now, I am going to attempt to put it through the strainer so I can save the juice. We're going to work it. We're going to grab those little pieces there. Let that drain, because that broth is what we're going to use for the gravy. We're going to save this pan for the gravy. We 
want to let this cool. This has to cool down now so that I'm able to use it. Okay. I'm just going to let it sit like that. And there's my broth. All right, we'll be back when that's done. Okay, I rolled out my dough, which I had in the fridge for a while. And I am going to just cut it out wider than the pan. And I'm using spring form pans. And I'm just going to set it in there. Just Probably needs to be a little wider, but that's okay. We'll be all right. I'm just putting it in there like that. Okay. Shove it down in there like this. And I'm probably not doing it like everybody else does it, but I watched a lot of different videos and everybody did it differently. So, doing my best here, Stuart. Wendy, I know, I know. But I'm doing my best here. Okay. Now, I'm going to get some more of my rolled out here. And I'm, make, I'm making it pretty thin because I gotta do lids now. This is good, good exercise. Now, I only have to do it, actually, and I, I buttered these really good. So now I just have to make them same size. I'm thinking my husband is gonna like these, actually. I never even heard of these. Man, isn't that crazy? Of course, I've never been to the UK either. Okay, I'm going to make another one just in case. Just 
in case I need another one. On the lids, I want to make a little hole right in the center. See? Probably want to cut around it. That's for the steam to come out and the, the goodness, so it won't, um, you know, for the steam, steam to escape. Now I'm going to take a couple tablespoons of this broth and put it in here just to moisten it. It smells good. Put the oven on 350. Okay, now, can you see this? I'm just going to fill these with all that goodness. Now I'm going to put the lids on and give it a pinch. Crimp that up in there.
I want to make sure that they're good and pinched. Okay, this is always fun. Helps me relax. This is how I relax after a hard day of work. Okay, I'm gonna get a baking sheet. And I got my old favorite one, of course. Which always is good. I got a little egg wash here. A little egg with a little bit of milk in it. Just uh, like maybe a teaspoon. Okay, now I got my paintbrush here. I'm going to paint this. And I don't want to get the egg in between the, the, the thing here. So I'm going to try to avoid that because I don't want it to seal it so that I can't get it out. Okay. pop these in the oven and I'm going to check them like after 30 minutes. See how the crust is doing. Okay, let's start my gravy here. And I'm just going to put in I don't know probably about a little over like two thirds of a stick. about five tablespoons. I usually go by looks and you usually want to, I'd say it's about five tablespoons. I had such a strange dream last night. I dreamt that it was like a big place or like a, I don't know, I kept thinking it was heaven. There was a whole bunch of children around and I could hear this man's voice talking, but it was like garbled. But I was telling the children, listen, listen, that's God. You have to listen to God. He's trying to tell you something. And I wasn't, the children were not listening. And it really, <clears throat> I woke up and I was really, um, I was really disturbed about it that the children weren't listening to God. So I was up early this morning praying. So I'm just going to pray. So I'm just going to add a little bit of flour here. Probably want a little more flour. Because I like it a certain texture when I make my gravy. But we don't want a thick gravy, we want kind of a thin gravy, so. Okay, now I'm just going to add some, going to add some of this broth, a little at a time. I 
to get it the consistency that I want. And that looks like a good consistency. I've also got I also have leftover roast beef gravy in the freezer, so I'm going to add that. Good thing to do with leftover gravy, right? Okay, I'm going to let that um, just bubble a little bit, and that'll be done. Okay, these came out of the oven. Sorry, I didn't mean to make you shake there. And I'm going to let them cool down because I can't get them out of there until they're cool. So we're going to let them cool. And because my oven is so slow, my oven took like 40 minutes. So, okay, we'll be back. Okay, these have cooled down and I don't even have to. They're just slipping right out here, so. But... We'll do it anyway, just because that's what they're for. Here we go. Let's see how good they can. Oh, look at that. Look at that. They just slide right off. Very nice, very nice. Now we're going to put it on a plate. So here you go, smothered in gravy. And like I said in the video, you can add some more <clears throat> broth or leftover gravy into the, um, into the meat before you cook it again. Um, I chose not to because I didn't want too much moisture because I didn't want it to affect the crust. You can add a couple tablespoons. But yeah. So, does that look right, Stuart and Wendy? I hope so. Let's give it a try. It's like a meat pot pie. That's really delicious. My husband is gonna love this. He loves meat. This is really good. I took another bite. Mmm, yum. So thanks for joining me today. I think I said that already. It's been a long day. It's late at night, I should be in bed but I had to finish the video. So, I'll see you next time. Something different. And remember, stay busy and serve others. Bye for now.